Hi everyone, the idea behind this tutorial is for us to use GIMP masks. I know, I've mused myself. Uh, so masks in the application GIMP. The idea is that we're going to be combining images. We're combining two images in fact, and we're putting them together in a kind of animation. It's not really animation, but it, it, it kind of gives you the impression. And it works really well with Anne's the beautiful poem. So this is what we're going to try to do. I float away from today's worries in a coracle on a sea of clouds cradled in my thoughts. We're going to use masks for this one. And the first thing I do is create a new image. And we're going to make sure that it is a widescreen format. So 1920 by 1080 pixels is what you need. So click on OK for that. Here we go. And then I've got two pictures to bring in. I've got a picture of coracles. And I've also got a picture, again, open as layers. OK, fab. So I'm going to make sure I use the move tool. Move that around. And what I want to do is I'm going to click on my minus key because as you can see that's quite a big picture. So I'm going to scale, use my scale tool. And I'm just going to make sure that's down. I'm going to come back and I'm going to go on to my move tool. Go back onto my scale tool. There we go, I've scaled that fine. Super right. Let's go on my coracles. Just gonna move that up slightly. There I'm happy with the position. There, that's great. So the idea is that I'm going to put this sky behind the coracles and the idea is that I am going to add a mask to this. There we go, I'm going to put a mask in there and I'm going to add the mask. Now as you can see it comes in here. There we go, hopefully you can see it a bit better now. So this is the mask in here now. So you have this, these two, there's the picture and then there's the mask. So what happens is now is when I draw on this, it will allow me to see through into the layer below. There we go. So the first thing I need to do is to check on a, on a brush. I've got a brush here. And then I just need to make sure that I'm going to be painting in black. There we go. As you can see, so when I paint in black, it reveals the image below. Okay. Now what I can also do to make sure that I leave the little coracle here is I can, with my pen tool, I can draw a path around it. So I'm just going to make sure I'm actually on the, there we go, I'm actually on the image. So what I can do is I can just draw a path around this fella. So I'm just moving my mouse and then just dragging as I go. Okay, so once you've drawn around the man, then you need to come over to here. Can you see? Selection from path is what you need to, cl to click on. And what happens is, is this path ends up becoming a selection around here. Okay, so now what happens is when I go back on to my my mask here and I go back and put my brush on. 
okay so what's happened is that I just need to invert that because at the moment it is just the man and I want to do it the other way around so we've, I'm going to do a control Z I always forget to do this so I do a select and invert and now what happens is when I select see it, it avoids it avoids the fella here I'm going to increase my the size of my brush and do some great big chunks as I go. Okay, so the idea is that you do a little bit and then you do file and export as and um, it's doing it as a PNG for me. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, Coracle 1 And export. It's fine. I'm going to export. It does that. And I can do a little bit more. And I can do file, export as. And I'll do 1B. And you can see what we're doing here is we're just going to add a little bit. And then I'll show you what happens. Go, add a bit more. And the cool thing is that I do, I'll save that one as well. Export as. Go 1C. And if you think you've, you've exposed too much of the sky, then you can swap that back to white. And then you can, by adding white, you add back in the mask. And you can change the effect by changing the brush as well. There we go. I'll say I'll export that one as well. I float away from today's worries in a coracle on a sea of clouds cradled in my thoughts.